Stop wasting grass clippings, do this for rich black soil. Every gardener knows this problem. You mow the lawn and suddenly, you're drowning in piles of grass clippings. They look messy. They smell. And let's be honest, most of us don't really know what to do with them. Some bag them for the trash, others shove them in a corner hoping they'll magically disappear, a few toss them onto the compost heap just to get rid of them. But here's the frustrating part. Weeks later, you come back expecting soil and instead you find a slimy, smelly mat that looks more like waste than anything useful. Sound familiar? Now just imagine turning that same pile of clippings into something so valuable that gardeners actually call it black gold. I'm talking about humus, the rich, dark, crumbly material that transforms lifeless dirt into thriving, fertile soil. It's the secret ingredient that makes plants stronger, harvests bigger, and gardens healthier. And hey, the good news? You can make it right at home, if you understand a few simple truths. Humus is not just compost, this is where most people get it wrong. Compost and humus are not the same thing. Compost is like halfway through the journey. It looks earthy, but you can still spot what it used to be. Fibers of grass, bits of straw, or maybe a piece of eggshell. Humus, on the other hand, is the finish line. By this stage, all traces of the original material have disappeared. It is chemically stable, resistant to further decay, and capable of locking nutrients into your soil for years. Compost feeds plants for a season, but humus keeps enriching the soil season after season. If compost is the appetizer, humus is the full feast. So, why does grass alone become a slimy mess, you might wonder? Well, fresh clippings are just packed with nitrogen, which is absolutely fantastic for microbial life. But here's the kicker. Nitrogen on its own is, uh, kind of unbalanced. When you go ahead and dump a pile of clippings without any partner material, the result is, well, suffocation. The blades mat tightly, moisture gets trapped, and instead of decomposing properly, they, uh, ferment into a foul-smelling sludge. The cure, my friends, is balance. Grass clippings need carbon-rich companions like dried leaves, straw, or even shredded cardboard. This mix, it creates these air pockets, fuels those microbes, and prevents clumping. When nitrogen from grass meets carbon from brown material, the pile heats evenly, breathes properly, and begins its journey toward humus instead of rot. Think of it like baking bread. Too much of one ingredient ruins the recipe. The balance makes all the difference. Heat is the heartbeat of decomposition. Many gardeners worry when they notice heat coming from a fresh pile of clippings. But that heat isn't a problem. It's a promise. Within 48 hours, a healthy pile can reach 130 degrees Fahrenheit or even higher. That sudden burst of heat is a sign that, well, billions of bacteria are wide awake feasting and multiplying. Without heat, decomposition crawls at a snail's pace, leaving you with clippings that linger for weeks. But with heat, the transformation into humus is officially underway. Fungi and worms take the baton. Bacteria may start the process, but they don't finish it. As the pile cools, fungi move in, weaving threads through the fibers and breaking down tougher plant materials. Soon after, worms arrive. They drag fragments deep into the soil and digest them, leaving behind nutrient-rich castings. It's this teamwork, bacteria firing the starting gun, fungi softening the tough bits, and worms finishing the job, that turns a pile of waste into humus. Without all three players, your grass clippings never make it to the finish line. Trust your nose, you don't need expensive tools to track the progress of your clippings, your nose is the best guide. Early on, the pile smells sweet, almost like fresh tea. As time goes on, that scent deepens into the earthy aroma we associate with healthy soil. If instead you notice a sour, rotten odor, 
the pile has gone anaerobic. This means it's suffocating and needs to be aerated or rebalanced with more carbon material. Once the smell returns to that rich, earthy fragrance, you know nature is back on track. Patience turns compost into humus. By week four, your pile may look dark, crumbly, and alive with worms. Many gardeners stop here, but this stage is actually proto-humus, not quite finished. At this point, it still contains unstable organic compounds that can continue breaking down. Give it more time to cure, just like, you know, fine cheese or aged wine, the longer it rests, the richer and more stable it becomes. True humus is chemically stable, resists decay, and is ready to work in your soil for years. Humus is the silent hero of the garden. When your clippings finally reach humus stage, their impact is, well, truly transformative. In clay soil, humus loosens the texture, creating air pockets for roots to breathe. In sandy soil, it acts like a sponge, holding precious water that would otherwise wash away. It also functions as a nutrient bank. Instead of flooding plants with food all at once, humus releases nutrients slowly and steadily, ensuring consistent growth. Beneath the surface, it builds a thriving underground community of bacteria, fungi, and earthworms that keep your soil alive. Humus doesn't make noise or demand attention, but the difference it makes in plant health, harvest size, and soil vitality is impossible to ignore. Turning clippings into black gold, so let's take a step back. You know, the grass clippings you once saw as waste can, with the right balance and a little patience, become the richest gift your soil will ever receive. So here's a simple foolproof method to transform clippings into humus. After mowing, just mix your green clippings with an equal volume of brown material, like dried leaves or shredded cardboard. Next, sprinkle water until the mix feels like a wrung-out sponge, moist but not dripping. If you need a guide, use about one gallon of water for every cubic foot of material to start, then add more as needed to maintain moisture. Build the pile at least three feet high to trap heat and turn it every week to keep oxygen flowing. Over the coming weeks, watch as it heats, cools, and slowly darkens. When the smell is earthy, the texture is crumbly, and the worms are thriving, you're close. Let it cure for a little longer and what you'll have is humus, the black gold that gardeners treasure. From waste to treasure. You know, the next time you finish mowing and find yourself staring at a pile of fresh clippings, don't think of it as a problem to dispose of. Think of it as a promise. In those green blades lies the foundation for humus, the very substance that will transform your soil, strengthen your plants, and feed your harvests for years to come. Work with nature, not against it. Let microbes, fungi, and worms do what they've done for millions of years. Waste disappears, soil comes alive, and your garden becomes more than a patch of plants. It becomes a living, breathing ecosystem. So, don't throw away your clippings. Turn them into treasure. Your soil, your plants, and your future harvests will thank you. And if you found this guide helpful, make sure to subscribe to Soil and Crop Central and share this with a fellow gardener. Together, we'll keep building gardens that thrive from the ground up.